foremost, how is Dallas treating you gents? Are you guys having a good time? Yes. I love that. That's simple. That's super simple. Charlie, you didn't say anything though. What's with house? Uh, Vincent's in a nicer hotel than I'm in. I'm a bit resentful about that. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we'll get somebody on there. We'll get somebody on there ASAP. You know, everything's bigger in Texas, right? That's how we do it? I love it. So, to start things off, I think my man Spence, Spence is in the, in the room. Uh, he kind of had this question as well. Uh, but there is no question whether or not Kingpin and Daredevil are part of the greater MCU now, right? Obviously, with you showing up in Hawkeye and you showing up in, in She-Hulk, you guys know that, right? Y'all saw those? Woo! I'm not spoiling anything. Just check it. Okay. Was that always the plan? Did you guys feel that you were part of the greater MCU even with the Netflix series? Or was it more solidified this time? Yeah, no, I, I feel like that's a new thing. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, it was, uh, um, I don't really know how the old show fits into the sure. timeline of it all, right? but my feeling is that we've now arrived. You're now here. You're, you're, you're one of us. One of us. Absolutely love it. Um, obviously, Stanley, Bill Everett, uh, John Romita Sr., brought these characters to life for the first time. Were you guys comic book readers growing up, comic fans now? Where do you fall in the keep the spectrum of things? Of course. Spooky. I love it, I love it. I was uh, Batman, Punisher, uh, Swamp Thing, uh, I have to say Captain America. That's right, that's right. And, um, and, and then a little Spidey here and there. With, uh, and then, you know, the, like if you walked into my room right, when I was a kid, you would see Daredevil, Punisher, Batman, Captain America. I love it. How does it feel to bring that full circle to be a part of those stories? <laughs> it's just like <fucking> awesome. <laughs> Overseas, you had a different cast of characters that you could have been introduced to. Were you a comic book fan? No, I never read comics growing up. Um, I was just, I would read soccer magazines. Okay. Or as we call it, football magazines. Oh, well, yeah, that's right, yeah. that's right. Um, but, um, you know, I tell this stupid story. Uh, I, I, I was aware, very much aware of Spider Man. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I do, I have a memory of being very young, like six or seven, and the house where I grew up in, we had these really high doors. The doorways were really tall for some reason. It was an old building in England. And um, I, I figured out that if I, my hands were like dry, sweaty enough, I could climb I could climb up the doorway. Wow. And I remember thinking that there was a chance, there was a small chance, but there was a chance I was spider. -Man. It still is. I mean, you do know him. Like, I'm just saying, like, y'all, man, that's his. I'm his lawyer, dude. What are you talking about? In so many ways, Matt Murdock, Wilson Fisk, they are polar opposites. But in a lot of ways, they're very similar, you know, kind of, you know, opposite sides of the coin. If you will. Do you have any favorite performances of each other and what you guys brought to those characters? So, do you have a favorite one that Charlie did and vice versa? Charging a wall. And, I mean, 
jumping off. I don't even fucking know how he's doing. Beefs, I mean, bullets expire, man, as a kid. Yeah, yeah. When he's doing that kind of stuff and I'm on set, I have to stay in the mode of, of Wilson Fisk because uh, it's annoying in real life and it's annoying as Fisk, so I just stay in my role and I just hate him ten times more. Um, when it comes to his performance, I mean, the, I, you know, the, the, in, in what I saw, I don't watch a lot of what I do, but I would occasionally you know, get to see some of Charlie's work and some of Deborah's work. And, um, you know, there's a, there was a couple of really amazing scenes with Zaria Dawson and, and, and Deborah that he did that I thought were extraordinary. And then there was a couple of scenes that him and I had. I mean, I had the pleasure of doing the scenes with him. One was the, the one when you visit me in jail. Right? That will always stay. And uh, so, yeah, so I would say it's his fight scenes, and then there's been, there was a couple of scenes with Deborah uh, in the second, in the, I believe it, in the first season and in the third season that I really liked a lot. Um, and then, you know, then there's the, the uh, fight scenes. Charlie. Sure. Um, When you, when you ask the question, what I think about is, you know, as an actor, over the course of your career, you get to work with many great people, of course. And a lot of the time, you're, you're learning from people, from other actors. You don't even know what you're learning, really. You're just kind of, just learning, just taking in little bits. Um, I had a scene with Vincent, and I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail about it because I don't want to draw attention to it, but I had a scene with Vincent where I feel like I learned more about acting on that day from watching him than all of the years prior in my career. And something clicked on that day that I was, that I was, that I, 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 I would be part of my craft for the rest of my life. Make some noise for that, and that's remarkable. Understand the craft and still can appreciate performances from others who I can learn from that as well as though um, you're still passionate, you're still learning. It's one of those beautiful things that I think that's proud of. Um, obviously, you talked about you know you guys ask why it was easy. If I may say, yes, sir. to the audience, that if there's artists out there, any kind of artists, writers, painters, actors, musicians, whatever the fuck you want, everything that he just said is exactly right. Like, it never stops. There's two things you need to know. Failure in your art is everything. It's everything. If you're scared to fail, then you're never going to be a good artist. And in that same realm of thinking, know that, know that the struggle to achieve 100% in your art even though you know you can't get there, because no artist can, but the struggle to achieve it knowing that you can't, that's the key. Because that struggle in everything you put your mind to, every piece of art you try to produce, no matter what kind of artist you are, that struggle ends up to be your performance. So there's no such thing as perfection. It's all about failure, succeeding, failure, succeeding. The struggle to achieve 100% ends up to be what the audience gets. Embrace that, make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. I was in a kid, so I was like, obviously, 
so much later. I just think that uh, he, you know the way that character thinks and operates is something extraordinary. And, uh, yeah. Is it specifically Alan Horsebrand or somebody else's? Yeah, from the Charlie, what about you?